So, Philip, can you explain us a little bit what is happening in this booth? Who are those those students, and why it is important? Okay, this uh, this booth this year is under the name Tameon, the Foundation Tameon, who got the money from the the sale of the uh, La Montricole yes. sold in Hong Kong. Now, uh, to to carry the project uh, uh, of transmitting the know-how, we decided this year to invite three students from three different watchmaking uh, schools. It's one from Grand, Switzerland, a, a young lady, a guy from, uh, from Helsinki, Finland, and another one from a, a French watchmaking school. And they are here for the, during the week to, 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 to learn different way of, uh, of working, uh, to finish some parts, uh, the global for their way, and then uh, tomorrow I will show them the Dufour way, and, and, so, and so on. Yeah, and uh, it's I think it's a good experience for for everybody here. Yeah, is it kind of an eye opener for them? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. They were very, they were very scary the first morning, but now they yeah yeah it's very it's it's very important for them because this type of thing very often you don't learn, learn it anymore in the school. And you say yeah, I have somebody that comes from uh, Helsinki, Finland. Yeah, yes. uh, is there like a big watchmaking scene there? Yeah, I don't know how big it is, but it's it's very famous watchmaking school. And uh, in Switzerland, we have a lot of uh, uh, Finnish Finnish yeah, uh, watch. Yeah, and, there. There. <laughs> and you have uh, um, uh, Rudy Silva, for example, yeah. the watchmaker Mika, and so on. You know, and uh, it's I don't know. I, I cannot explain why. <laughs> Maybe it's. Because uh, it's always in the dark. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, a bit, bit similar to, to the Jira. I don't know. But it's very important for them. And the school is very, very, very one, probably one of the best school. And also uh, under the Foundation Tameon, we have an, another project uh, this year. It's uh, from the two watchmaker from Uber, You know, two Swiss German guys. And since many years they're collecting and they're restoring old uh, watchmaking tools ma and machine, and with this uh, equipment they made their own watch. And today, today they exhibit what what they did. And it's funny because it's about it's about the same uh, same spirit as the as the Naissance du Monde. Yeah, that's huh? interesting, especially com coming from them with something so unique with Uber, yeah. very different, yeah, and yeah, to come yeah. back to traditional watchmaking. That's interesting. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Philippe. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Merci. Thank you.